Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn how to synchronize your items in the eBay TurboLister program. When you synchronize your TurboLister with your eBay account, what it's going to do is communicate with the eBay uh, site. So it's going to be checking for active sold or unsold items. It really depends on the selections that you set prior to synchronizing. When you synchronize, that information that pulls in gets pulled into your listing activity area. As you can see, I don't have anything in here yet. So what we'll do is we'll go up to the Synchronize button. It's going to show you several different options. You're, you can do Active and Scheduled, Sold, or Unsold. For Sold and Unsold, it also has a date range here that you can select from. So just to keep this a brief tutorial, we're going to go ahead and select Sold Items. We'll go to the past 30 days. And we're going to hit Synchronize Now. Once you see that all of your items are successfully synchronized, you can go ahead and click close. Now I just did ended listings, but that actually breaks down into several different areas. So for me, I did sold, and that's where these six items are coming from. And you can see the different items that have been sold for the past 30 days on this account. It shows you the item number. Uh, it shows you information such as the sale price, what it was, shipping that was used, things of that nature. So there's a lot of good information here. Now, if you are wanting to synchronize, but you don't see this information, that's because at some point you had clicked Don't Ask Me Again, and then you click Synchronize, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you go up here, ooh, suddenly it's just synchronizing on its own with no way to select your active and scheduled or your unsold items. The way that you can fix that is you can go up to your tools menu, down to options, advanced options. You'd think it'd be synchronization options, but it's actually turbo lister options and reminders. You want to show me all reminder messages. Click apply, then OK. Next time that you go to synchronize, you can actually select the other areas again. Some more synchronization tips are if you go back to Tools, down to Options, Advanced Options, Synchronization Options, it gives you some different settings that you can do. You can automatically synchronize with eBay. You can set your date range here so that whenever you synchronize, it populates this amount of time. You can tell it to push for a synchronize every so often. Um, you know, you can... So this would be if you were making changes to your active content. It would automatically push those changes out every so often. Automatically downloading data is when you're pulling the information in from eBay. You can set that as well. The reset is very handy because when you delete items from TurboLister, when you synchronize again, those, those items don't repopulate. I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and delete these two items. Are you sure? Yes. And then I go to synchronize again. Sold last 30 days. Up to date, but it only remains four. It didn't bring those other two items back in. So if you have a, a situation like that where you're synchronizing and you know that there should be more information there and you kind of remember that maybe you would have deleted some items at some point, you're going to go up to your tools menu, down to options, advanced options, synchronization options, and click the reset button. Reset gives you a little message that all of your active listings are going to be available again. It also affects sold and unsold. OK. Apply. Then OK. Let's synchronize again. You can see it's going to pull those last two items back in. Now we're back up to six. So just something to keep in mind if you're missing information, try to do the reset first and then synchronize again. Now because TurboLister is meant for new or low volume sellers, if you have thousands of items and you typically are using TurboLister to just create content and add items for sale, I would not recommend using the synchronize feature of TurboLister if you have thousands of listings because chances are that's going to crash the TurboLister system. If you have you know, a couple hundred items, that should be fine, but if you're talking about a couple thousand items, I really wouldn't push it. 
and that's how you synchronize your items with TurboLister to eBay. Keep watching for more videos on how to stock up your eBay arsenal.